Shabbat Shalom from Ramot. This week's parsha is Kitisa. It's in the book of Shmot. Shmot literally means names. And though we're accustomed to think of the names being the names of the children of Jacob that came down to Egypt, the names also refers to the names of God. At the high point of this week's parsha, God reveals himself with 13 connotations. They're not holy names, but they are, they are aspects of God's oneness, the way that he relates to us. Right after the sin of the golden calf, in forgiveness to the Jewish people, God elevates the relationship between himself and us by telling Moshe Rabbeinu these 13 connotations, these 13 measures of mercy. Havaya, havaya, kel rachum v'chanun, er chapayim v'rav chesed v'emet, notzer chesed l'alafim, nose avon v'fesha, v'chata'a v'nakei. These 13 principles of mercy are what we use every time that we beseech God to forgive us, whether as a collective or as individuals. That's why we use it in Slichot, that's why we use it on Yom Kippur. The 13 became so important because, because of this revelation in our Parsha that the sages of the Mishnah re- told us that the logic that they use to develop their understanding of Torah is based on 13 principles. Later in the time of Maimonides, he used the number 13 to express, to try to describe in short form what Jewish faith is about. And he called it the 13 principles of Jewish faith, that our whole faith in God is really connected to these 13. On the one hand, we might think, how can God suddenly become multiplied? Why would there be 13 different connotations, 13 different principles of faith, 13 different ways in which we learn the Torah? The answer is that 13 is really an expression of God's oneness. In Hebrew, the word for one, echad, is equal to 13. Aleph is one, chet is eight, and dalit is four. How can we bring the 13 measures of God's compassion into our lives? There's another word, love, which in Hebrew is ahava. It also equals 13. Aleph is one, hey is five, bet is two, and hey is five. Together, 13. Every time that we express our love for our spouse, for our children, even to other strangers, what we're really doing is bringing the light of the oneness of God that was revealed in these 13 connotations into our lives. Shabbat Shalom.